nerds. Improv nerds. So, what is the game, really? Um, you can define it a lot of ways, and I think it's different for everybody. But essentially, it's the, um, it, it's the, it's the, it's the gist, it's the joke, it's the bit, it's the premise, it's the gag, it's the core, it's the unifier, it's the thing, it's the main thing, it's the one thing. All the comedy uh, uh, <coughs> philosophies that I've looked into, and I, I haven't looked into that many, most of them are sort of, you know, Del Close, and, and I, I listen to as much and read as much as I can about comedy. As far as improvisation and sketch goes, especially the more North American style, <coughs> it seems to me that all the all the schools that speak to me and the teachers and individuals that speak to my sensibilities believe that every great scene is about one thing, essentially, whether it's a sketch or, or an improv. Now, and when you're writing a sketch, you can go back and, and, and fix things so that you, so your focus is there. And when you're improvising, sometimes you've got your one thing, your one game, but either either the collective imagination can't sustain the game as long as you'd like, or some unknown factor happens that interrupts or perturbs the game in such a way that it changes. And then we just modify and play the new schema that comes up. So give me an example for people that are listening overseas or in a small town. We have a big overseas we, uh, we, uh, Yeah, uh, Poland audience. is one of our huge... Are you big in Poland? Yeah. yeah. Do, don't I have someone from Poland here today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am I, is, is Improv Nerd pretty big in Poland still? Uh, yeah, they know you. Okay. It's good. Yeah, they know me. <laughs> uh, what, give me an example of game. Just break it down very, very simply. I think it's different, depends on the nature of the scene. There's no one size fits all at all. That's what's so beautiful about the term game. And what I, part of why, when I first hooked up with the UCB after improvising and practicing the Herald in the Del Close style for a number of years, <coughs> it was a completely paradigm changing thing. And that, na that word game in itself, there's an implication of play. And it's, like I said, Every, every great teacher I ever had was like, all right, too much, keep it simple, keep it about as few things as possible. So if you do a scene and it's over and you look at it and say, what was it that made that scene work? What was that main thing? Whatever that is, that's game. This is, I'm thinking this is the best time I've had on vacation in a long time. Well, it's exciting. It's very exciting. Because, I, I mean, usually, you know, I've traveled with Julie, not the most interesting no, companion. No, She's a wonderful no, woman. No, I'm I love her. Sorry, I'm beautiful. Her. I no, love her I'll too. Do not the sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah, I'm with you. And and Gail, my Gail's wife, a lovely, has lovely to plan individual. everything out. Everything's planned. You know what? If if Gail was here right now, she she would she she couldn't deal with it. It's not on the itinerary. Right, right, right. That's why I like going out with you on vacation. Well, that's why we're here. Because I never know what's going to happen. Like right now, I'm thinking if that rice isn't cooked in 24 hours, I could be dead. <laughs> it's not going to happen. The, the human body can last 40 days and more without food. See, the other thing I like about you, you're rational. You calm me down. You're a calm influence on me. Julie or Gail would think, oh my God, you're going to die. Well, and likewise, you get me in touch, and don't take this wrong I'm way. not going to take you it. You get me in touch with my inner spaz, what I refer to <laughs> as my inner spaz. 